If you want a career in web development, at some point you'll find yourself at a crossroads. Two very different paths lead away from it. Both paths are difficult, and yet even the difficulties are radically different. One path, the front end, seems flat and bright and shiny and open and sunny. And yet it is winding, it twists and it turns. And above all, there are angry crowds on each side, ready to pounce on those who stumble on the road. The other path, leading towards the back end is steep and cold and isolated. There are steep cliffs on each side, ready to swallow up those who fall in. And yet the path itself is straight and solid. Neither path is easy. Which one will you choose? The answer may well depend on who you are. Let's see why. Back end and front end development have two very different goals. In simple terms, the goal of back end development is to produce a logical system, a system where the inputs can be cleaned and the outputs are known, a system where rules are paramount. The back end is all about chewing the data, finding the right way to format it, to store it, to retrieve it, and to send it, and above all, applying a cold mathematical logic to it. The back end is all about making computers talk to computers in the most efficient way possible. It deals with objective truth, and so we never trust the user, neither what he says nor what he does. Front-end development, on the other hand, is all about dealing with humans. And unlike computers, humans are messy and unpredictable and wonderfully variable. A computer will do exactly what you tell it, no more, no less. Humans can do more or less what you expect them to do, or precisely the opposite of what you expect them to do, just because. Front-end development, then, is about pleasing the user. It's about providing the most aesthetic, fun, and entertaining experience. It includes elements of creativity and art. In this sense, the goal of front-end development is one that can't be measured or defined because it's inherently subjective. In a sense, there's a left-brain, right-brain opposition between back-end and front-end development. But the difference doesn't stop there. It also includes the concepts, the skills, the technologies that must be mastered along the way. Let's take a look together. Let's be clear, though, that both paths share a common foundation. This includes Git, of course, and even if you're a back-end developer, you need to understand the basics of HTML and CSS. JavaScript or TypeScript will be useful in both cases, since thanks to the creation of Node.js, JavaScript has become a server language. There is also a need in both cases of understanding how API works. They're the, the glue or the interface, which is the eye of API between the back end and the front end. Now that we've seen what the back end and front end have in common, let's see how they're different. First, let's look at the back end. The back end developer is in charge of storing and manipulating data in the cleanest, most efficient and safest way possible, with a minimum of repetition without frills or excess data. The questions that need to be answered are therefore the following. First, how is the data structured? And that answer depends on whether we're using a relational database which can be queried with SQL or a key value store or indeed another type of NoSQL database. Two, how is the user authenticated? Three, how based on this user, his actions and the data that we have, do we apply business rules and rewrite the data? And to answer these questions, we need to have a solid understanding of how databases work. We need to understand how a stateless server works and we need to know the ACID rules of databases, of normalizing them and why they exist, and maybe even when to mend them. We need to understand how to cache data and evaluate the cache. We must have a solid understanding of how encryption works, how to use it, and what its limitations are. And of course, we need to master at least one of the server-side languages, that is PHP, Node.js, Python, Java. To summarize, on the back end, we standardize and secure and make sure that everything is in the right place. On the other hand, on the front end, the main concern is to manage the fact that people access the web with a large variety of devices. From slow Android 360 pixel wide devices in portrait mode to blazing fast desktop computers with 5K pixel wide landscape mode screens. And on top of that, these devices have very different network connections. Some have high speed fiber, others have a 3G connection. So the questions that need to be answered are the following. 
First, how can we degrade the experience gracefully? How can we offer a pleasant and functional experience on radically different devices? Second, how can we make images look sharp on a 5K screen and display immediately on a slow connection? Thirdly, how can we give the impression that something is happening, that the user's input has been taken into account, even if we're still waiting for the server to respond? And to answer these questions, we need to understand how browsers work, how to optimize the data sent, and how to make pages appear as fast as possible, and also how the user brain works. We need to understand mobile-first responsive design, lazy loading, and image formats. And we also need to understand the subtleties of CSS and its different modes, such as block, flex blocks, grid. We also need to understand semantic HTML, technical SEO, and of course, JavaScript. Now, I know some of you might be saying, I want to be a full stack developer. That is to say, both master front end and back end development. And it's a noble ideal, and it actually pays better too. So, what about full stack development? Well, you can never start with full stack development. You can't master both the front end and the back end at the same time. If you want to master two subjects, you have to start by mastering one. And whichever one you choose to start with, the front end or the back end, you'll need to understand some of what happens on the other side of the great divide between browsers and servers. And what's more, the lines between back end and front end are becoming progressively less and less defined. First, by the rise of client side frameworks such as React or Vue or Angular that move as much of the business logic as possible to the client side. And secondly, by full stack frameworks such as Next.js or Nuxt or Remix, where you write code that will be executed both server side and client side. But the fundamental difference between the mindsets and skills required for front end and back end development means that the vast majority of us will have a comfort zone aside of the server browser divide that we prefer to work on. And this could be simply due to the makeup of our personality.